thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Only to get you to shut up. Tired of all the whining. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. in Riverwood to see Delphine. It's been a week. But it's time for me to deal with the Thalmor. I left Mjol back in Riften. I don't want her involved in this personal vendetta. But it's time to see what the Thalmor are up to, and if they have anything to do with the dragons returning from the dead. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. Why not just fight our way in? So that's your plan, huh? Even if you could survive, by the time you got inside, whatever documents they had would be long gone. We're there for information, remember? Trust me. I've been doing this for a long time. My way is better. So what's your plan? How do I infiltrate the Thalmor Embassy? The Thalmor Ambassador, Elenwen, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the Embassy, you can get away and find Elenwen's secret files. I have a contact inside the Embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Malborn. Any questions? Just how am I going to get into this party? Let me handle that. You'll have a real invitation, don't worry. As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor toady, you'll get past the guards. Once I'm inside, then what? That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. All right, then I'll see you in solitude. Sounds good. Be careful. What can I do for you? Nothing, just keep patrolling. I take it there have been no more vampire sightings. There shouldn't be, not with Harkon dead. And oh, now did you need that Mirak is dead, to you. I can turn all my Point attention to, to the Thalmor. It's not much to ask. Oh, wait, I guess I will help you. Hello, friend. Divines bless you. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Only to get you to shut up. Tired of all the whining. If I could, I'd probably give you a thousand gold or more just to make you go away. All right. The man's got me so addled, I walked past the winking skeever. You, you need. Breton? Our mutual friend sent me. Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. 
The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the Embassy. The rest is up to you. All right, then. Here's what I'll need. Okay, I'll get this inside the Embassy for you. I've gotta go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. All right, then. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Our Our good job to see is you. to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest. Why don't you stop acting so nervous? Just calm down. This'll all work out. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. Listen, I know what my job is. Just shut up. You know you can afford a septum or two. Your job is to get into the party oh without being goodness. fingered as Are a spy. Are you kidding me? Get away from me. about the stables? My husband Gaiman handles the business. You given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Yes, Malborn is all set. Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. Go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. All right, how about this? I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the Embassy? I'm ready. Keep the rest of my things safe. Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. Ah, a fellow latecomer to Ellenwyn's little soiree. And arriving by carriage, no less. I salute you, sir. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this godsforsaken mountain than to any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinking. I can imagine. Please, you first. I insist. All right. There's not enough drinking in the world today, wouldn't you agree? I'll see you inside. I will just rest here a moment. Welcome to the Thalmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Go right in. Now then, here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh, etc., etc. I'm just doing my duty, sir. Everything's in order. Welcome back. Sir. Please proceed into the Embassy. Yes, yes. Find myself a drink. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? <laughs> Quite a party. It's my first time, you know. Where can I get a drink? Don't worry. My parties are always well stocked with the finest food and drink available in this country. But first, you were introducing yourself. Please, tell me more about yourself. What brings you to this... to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. 
Do I have your permission to uncork the Arinthia Red? Of course. I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted These later. Please more than enjoy yourself. This war won't last much longer. <laughs> I said it better myself. What can I get for you? Sometime. You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door and we can get you on your way. Yes, what do you need? I'd like a drink. Here you go, sir. The finest Colovian brandy. Is there anything else I can get for you? Some say the ship suffered damage to her hull when she struck an iceberg. And Captain Mm hmm Till next time. Yes, that'll be it for up now. All right, a distraction. You. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Here, I bought you one. Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. If there's anything I can I ever Ellen do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Later. I can hardly wait. Actually, there is something you could do for me. Wonderful. I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. I need you to cause a scene. Get everyone's attention for a few minutes. Is that all? <laughs> My friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Stand back and behold my handiwork. Attention, everyone. Could I have your attention, please? I have an announcement to make. Let's go. I Let's go. A toast Before anyone to notices us. Our That's mistress. What are you I speak doing? figuratively, of course. Uh, Nothing could be more unlikely than that someone would actually want her in their bed. Although most of you. So far, so good. Let's hope nobody you. saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking. Got it? Follow me. Who comes, Malvern? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it? Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. <laughs> Come on. If someone misses me at the party, we're both dead. I thought you were gonna lock the door. Don't worry. The Nightingale won't let you down. The patrols might notice something's wrong. I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Everything is splendid. Thank you. Did Good you luck. see those robes? You're on your own now. Were they with? More of the emissary's treaty enforcers? No, they're high mages, just in from Alinor. I guess herself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. It's place from a dragon. If a dragon does show up, maybe we'll get lucky, and it will eat the mages first. Might give us enough time to kill it. Ha! I'd like to see those arrogant bastards taken down a notch. Always looking down their noses at us lowly foot sloggers. <laughs> well, we'd better get back to our rounds.
I need that money. I earned it. I have my own expenses, you know. Silence. Do not presume, Gissa. You are most useful, but do not presume. We have other informants who are less... But no one else has brought you such valuable information, have they? Etienne, he's talked, hasn't he? He knows where that old man is you're looking for. He told me himself. You'll get the rest of your money when we confirm his story, as agreed. So he has talked. I knew it. Everyone talked. Alright, Dragon Investigation. First Emissary, El Ellen Wynn. We appreciate a breakthrough in our efforts to uncover the party or power behind the Dragon Resurrection phenomenon. As an informant has identified a possible lead, whom we have brought back to the Embassy for full interrogation. The subject is obstinate, but by all indications is holding back the information we seek. I have authorized immediate manual uncoiling. What is that? I do not expect more will be necessary unless you feel time presses. I know you prefer to be present for the final questioning. I will inform you immediately when the subject is fully receptive. Two days should tell the tale. In the meantime, if you wish to audit our technique, your expertise is welcome as always. I have placed the prisoner in the cell closest to your office stairs for your convenience. Hmm, a dossier on Delphine. Mid-fifties, I never would have guessed. Ulfric. to see the rest of your payment. Can I... I could help you. He talked to me. He trusts me. You'd like to come downstairs with me, is that it, Gissa? Shall we loose his bonds and put you in a cell together? You can ask him anything you'd like and see how he answers. No, no, I'll... I'll wait outside. That would probably be best. Now, get out. Etienne must know something related to the dragons. Who else might know? Greasy Tom? No, they'd see right through him. someone else was in here. I'm out of lockpicks. I thought I brought them with me. Hmm, I must have left them behind in the chest. Please, I don't know anything else. Don't you think I'd have told you already? Silence, you know the rules. Do not speak unless spoken to. Master Rolandil will ask the questions. Let's begin again. No, for pity's you know sake. The rules. I've already told you everything. No! 
started. <laughs> Notice the dead body on the floor. document. Looks like it's time to get out of here. Listen up, spy. You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Surrender immediately, or you both die. Never mind. Silence, I'm dead traitor. already. Move. Slowly. care of them. Malborn, you okay? Now the Thalmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. Um, what other option did we have? Alright, this man was being tortured. Let's get him free. I told you. I don't know anything else about it. I'm not here to torture you. What? Who? What? What do you want, then? There's no time to explain. Let's get out of here. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Come on, this way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. All right. Whatever you want. I'll but let's follow go you. now. sure how powerful I am without all of my gear. Really?
Did Malborn just get killed? Wow, okay. Got a stone of Baron Zaya. And poor Malborn will never have to worry about the Thalmor hunting him. Rest in peace. Alright. Where'd that prisoner go? Hopefully he's outside waiting for me. There he is. You. You didn't have to help me, so thanks. You're welcome. All right, I guess it's time for me to go and find Delphine. We'll drive out the Empire from this land. Made it out alive, at least. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Did you learn anything useful? The Thalmor know nothing about dragons. Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about this? Why did you send me if you weren't going to believe me? You're right, you're right. I just... I was sure it must have been them. If not the Thalmor, who? Or what? I don't know, but the Thalmor are looking for someone named Esburn. Esburn? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. What would the Thalmor want with Esburn? You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esburn was one of the Blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the Blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. So, the Thalmor think the Blades know about the dragons. Ironic, right? The old enemies assumed that every calamity must be a plot by the other side. Even so, we've got to find Esbern before they do. He'll know how to stop the dragons if anybody does. Do they know where he is? They seem to think he's hiding out in Riften. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Ask around the Ragged Flagon in the Ratway. It's at least a good starting point. Oh. And when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. So what happened to the Blades, and why are you on the run? The Thalmor happened. They've been hunting down every blade they can find for the past 30 years. Thanks to the White Gold Concordat, they've been able to operate throughout the Empire with impunity. Why does the Empire allow the Thalmor free reign? Part of the cost of peace. Emperor Titus Mead saved his Empire at a very high price. A price that included the Blades. The Nords didn't like the peace treaty much either. Thirty years later, the Empire ends up with the Stormcloak Rebellion on its hands. No doubt exactly as the Thalmor intended. This is a local favorite and All right. the first songs I ever learned. I think I know Ragnar enough. Ragnar the Red. All right, I'm going to head to Riften. Next time.